Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. My name is Candy, and today in this video, I'm going to do cracking hydrocarbon chain part two. In this video, I'm going to explain how cracking is done in the lab and in the industry. In the lab, I'm going to do a quick diagram. Now the main substance in the test tube over here, this one is called a paraffin. Paraffin is a long hydrocarbon chain with 12 carbon. So this is an alkane containing 12 carbon whereas this one um, you can see from my diagram well I hope you can see it's a Bunsen burner and what we're doing we're heating up the paraffin the long hydrocarbon chains so the long hydrocarbon chain will be broken down and what do you think these are the substance over here, this is called porcelain. Now, porcelain act as a catalyst. Okay, what's the function of a catalyst? A catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction without getting used up. The Bunsen burner not only heats the paraffin, but it's also used to heat the porcelain. Okay, when the long hydrocarbon chains are broken down, it will be formed into smaller alkanes and alkenes. This will be found as a gaseous state at room temperature. So, the gas will come out and in the water, it will be formed as a bubbles. So these are bubbles and these bubbles will be collected over here as alkane and alkene. So these are smaller alkane and smaller alkene gases. So this is how Cracking is done in the lab. Now let's take a look how cracking is done in the industry and it's a very complicated process so I'm not going to draw the diagram but I'm going to tell you how it is done step by step. Now the first step, the long hydrocarbon chain Are vaporized. Vaporized means changing a substance into a gaseous state. So the long hydrocarbon chain which are found as a solid or liquid state will be vaporized which means will be changed into a gas. The second step these vaporized long hydrocarbon chain are passed over a powdered catalyst. Okay, why powdered? Why is the catalyst found in the powdered form? Because it increases the surface area. So rate of reaction will increase. So more products will be formed in the given time. The third step is 
is heated at 400 degrees Celsius, 700 degrees Celsius. So we are looking around 550 degrees Celsius temperature. So this is how cracking is done in the industry. Since catalyst is used to crack the long hydrocarbon chain, this can be called as catalytic cracking. Okay, this is all in this video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe and share it with your friend. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.